Hello guys and welcome back to another tiny tutorial and in today's video I want to talk about how I project details onto a low poly model and this has a lot of benefits when you're working in a pipeline and when you have a certain workflow because this can help a lot um, for example, um, with cleaning a mesh, when you're just sculpting all over and you have a very messy mesh and you want to make it more clean. So you go back, you make a clean mesh um, and then you don't have the details on it um, anymore. So you want to project the details onto this um, newer, cleaner uh, mesh again. And this is um, pretty good for that. I also use this method because I really love painting uh, with poly paint and ZBrush and just doing the basic colors into it. And I only can do that when the low poly model has some UVs, of course. So um, I have to do the, the retropo, do the low poly mesh, do the UVs on the low poly mesh, then import it again into ZBrush. Um, and then I really need all the details to make a really good um, poly paint in it. So this is also um, something I really love to do. But I will just show you how I'm doing this. It is not really complicated, so um, I hope you can follow through. So what we have here now, I have this little skull and I have the high poly model and the low poly model see this one is like over 6 million and the low poly is 11,000 or 12,000 so um, yeah you need both of them then just um, turn off the solo mode so we have both on and then click on the low poly um, model and then just go down here to geometry and divide the model a few times or yeah for example like 12 million we have 12 million or 80 million now so this would be fine um, now what you have to do is before you are doing any projection just go down to the morph target click on the store morph target because you really need that um, what this is doing is when you producing some details on the model and there will be 100% um, places where the projection is messing up, um, then morph target would be pretty handy. So when you're sculpting on this, then you can just switch between them. And when you're using the morph brush which is um, the default brush then you can just delete what you projected on it what is pretty pretty handy so let's go back so press the store morph target then go to the layer section press a new layer because this is always good to have to record all the steps here and then um, turn off the solo mode again and then you can click on the projection um, setting here. And what you can do is you can um, be on the highest level from the low poly model and just click projection. Or you can go down and do the steps step by step like subdivision one, project, subdivision two, project. You can do it um, whatever you like to. So I'll just do it um on the highest level now so let's see just click on the projection all button and wait until the um, process is finished when the whole rendering is done then you can see the low poly mesh just um, fits onto the high poly mesh and we just um, clicking on the solo mode then we see that it looks pretty nice so this is the high poly model and this is the low poly high poly low poly 
and you can see still that some parts are messed up a little bit for example here the teeth and you just see it on the on the high poly model but we have our morph target on so we can just use the morph brush and then go over it and fix this a little bit what is pretty cool so you can of course just smooth it out but it doesn't really work too good all the time so you can just switch between the morph brush and the smooth um, until you have all the details fixed and sometimes you have bigger parts which you have to fix um, and sometimes smaller ones so actually this model really turned out pretty good um, it doesn't have a lot of um, messed up points maybe here but you can just fix this with the um, morph target sometimes or more often you have to sculpt over it um, so you can just fix it by by hand but uh, yeah this is how the detailing projection works so keep in mind have your high poly and your low poly model then subdivide your low poly model onto um, a high level which you really like to have then go down to the morph target and click the store morph target then create a layer and then you can project the whole low poly onto the um, high poly in a high level or you just go down and go step by step so subdivision level one project subdivision level two project and you can um uh, use the morph brush in between these steps as well what can help a little bit too so yeah this is how i do this um it's pretty easy to use when you just um, practice this one time and yeah i hope this helps you a little bit and we see us in the next video